connecting some dots that I have lost in the clouds of busyness. That's a good thing. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Father. I would like to speak today on the subject, the light of understanding. The light of understanding, still in the confines of our yearly theme, expansion. I would like this morning for you to give me your 100% attention. Aiden, don't take notes. Just listen. I had few messages in my heart this morning, uh, this week, but I chose to speak to you than preaching to you. If you get a hold of what I'm going to speak today, this is not a repetition of what a preacher always says your life will change. No, no, no. Hear me. Your perception of life. And the sphere in which you operate, you will embrace it with more precision than just in a general way. Jesus Christ could have created an iPhone. He could have invented an amplification system that I'm holding in my hand called a microphone. Jesus Christ could have created a car and a plane. Jesus Christ could have created things that today we enjoy. But yet, he created none of that. Not because he didn't have the capacity, but because he stick to his mission. God gave wisdom, understanding, knowledge, strength, favor, to every human being. Yet, whenever you see yourself running out of any of those, is because you have not allocated those things to the place where they were supposed to be allocated. You are scattering. When you have too many conduits, you will always run out of resources. God didn't create you to do everything. God didn't create no one to excel in everything or to achieve in everything. The strength God gave you is enough if only you know the channel and apply to that channel, you will not run out. Because you run out, it's because there's too many conduits and channels that you are feeding that are not a part of the assignment for which you are put on this earth. I want to make that clear before I go any further. And I would like to repeat it again. I'm a repeater. I said, whenever you see yourself running out of anything, watch. Is it possible that it's because you have too many conduits that you're feeding? Wisdom and understanding then will allow you and I to know what is the conduit for which I was provided by God to supply. Not the one. The light of understanding. Proverbs 4, 7 says, Wisdom is the principal thing. Therefore, get wisdom. You get wisdom. And with all Thy getting, get understanding. With all your gettings, get understanding. What separates you today from another person is not the skin color. What separates you from another person in achievement is not your background. It's understanding. When a man has understanding, his ways will always flourish. But when a man lacks understanding, 
Even in his days of celebration, he will be a slave. That's what set great man apart. Psalm 18, 28, 29 says, For you will light my lamp. Sorry, the scriptures, I hope you see it. The Lord my God will enlighten my darkness. Did you hear that word? He will enlighten my darkness with understanding, in other words. For by you, I can run against a troop. And by you, O oh God, I can leap over the walls. It doesn't matter if you are facing a troop or a wall. When you get understanding, you will leap over it. When you get understanding, you will run through the troop. But when you lack understanding, you will turn around a wall for so many years. And a wall will keep you on the other side of your frustration. Preventing you to reach your next place of celebration. Understanding will make you a leaper of walls. Understanding will make you a breaker of troop to keep progressing. But if you lack understanding, frustration will never be far away from your home. Hallelujah. Let me give you some understandings. I have discovered in this months away, in my time of meditation with God, <laughs> I got understanding of something I knew. Never you can know something without understanding it. So I got understanding of something I knew. <laughs> I knew before that there is nothing new under the sun. As the ecclesiastic said, what has been will be again. What has been done will be done again. There is nothing new under the sun. I knew it, but I didn't understand it. Now that I understood what I knew, something began to change in my life. I will share with you understanding, and I'm getting excited. Many things that you and I are trying to achieve is not working not because you don't have stamina or willpower or willingness. You have willingness. You want to do well. You want to succeed. Nobody wake up in the morning thinking, I want to lose today. Every one of you under the sound of my voice and those who are watching, you wake up every morning because you want to be an overcomer. You want to be a success. You want to achieve. You want to accomplish great things. You want to go on the mountain top. You don't want to remain in the valley and in the place of failure. No one wake up in the morning thinking they will fail. Yet many fail. Though they have the right heart. Though they are spiritual. Though they are surrounded by the wrong crowd, the, the right crowd. Though they have the right will in their heart. They want to do it. But that's not what secure success. It's understanding. <laughs> it is understanding. Watch me. My wife is now your senior pastor. I want you to give your ears completely and totally. And by the end of this service, you will understand why. Not only for her to you as a body, but for each one of you individual for your own family and the business and the dream that you have in your heart. It will just shift everything. I, I understood by resting with God that 90% of what I know is a pattern. It's a system. It's a system. That's why Solomon said, there's nothing new under the earth. What was done will be done again. What was will be. Men of understanding operates by revelation of systems. Yes, we walk by faith. 
But by understanding, you can uncover systems. I'm going somewhere. You will catch me soon. When God wanted to build a tabernacle in the earth in Exodus 25, verse 40, what did he say? He said to Moses, see to it that you make them according to the pattern or the system, the model, which was shown to you on the mountain. God is a God of systems. God is a God of model. God is a God of pattern. Watch this. When God wanted to create humanity, he created only one person from the dirt. Are you catching me? You catching me? From that day, he never created anybody from the dirt anymore. Because he put a system in Adam and Eve that from that system, you don't need to go create anymore from the dirt. He put a system of procreation in them. By activating that system, they begin to multiply according to the model. Am I speaking to somebody? Am I speaking to somebody? We always like to recreate and recreate, we recreate. That's why we don't redeem time. We waste time by trying to recreate. Everything works in the kingdom by a system. You make it once, and by the system, it replenishes itself. It takes understanding. Procreation is the system of God to build humanity. There's no need anymore to form a man from the dirt. But it's not only in procreation, even growth. The only thing that is not a system, it is an organic growth. In other words, when a human being is born, you, you know what, it grows on its own. You just feed the thing and then it grows on its own. When it stops growing, that means something is breaking the system. A failure, it is a disapproval of nature from what you give it to. Nature is created to respond to God's system. When you present a godly system to nature, nature never disobeys. So when you feed a baby, it grows automatically. But that's the only thing that grows automatically. If you want to grow in intelligence, in academic, in finances, it does not happen automatically. You have, by understanding, captured the system that's been set in place for the outcome to become successful financially or intellectually or academically in anything that you want to achieve. But yet, we are good people in the church, spiritual, willing well, but we have not grabbed a hold yet of the God who is systematic, who is a God of system and pattern and model. I'll give you a few. God challenged me. And I like to be challenged. Because whenever a person gets in a place of challenge, he becomes available to learn something that he never knew. And even if he knew, he will capture understanding that he never captured before. It's not about knowing, it's about understanding what you know. You can capture power, wisdom, authority in different means. Having intimacy with God in a relationship that is genuine will give you power. That's one way. Another way, it is understanding the systems and the pattern that God operates by in his kingdom. And number three. It is by association with one man or woman who understands systematic operations. Then you learn by being covered by somebody else. Today I want to focus on the number two. On the dynamic of God who is a God of systems and patterns. 
How many truths do we hear? You go on Google, you hear truth. You go on the, your phone, you can go on 25,000 Bibles. You capture truth. You listen to preachers, you capture truth. It is all over the place. But why is it not working for us all the time? That's just a question. The Bible said, the truth shall set you free. Am I right? You shall know the truth. And the truth shall set you free. You know what I learned? I know a lot of truth. And I understand many truth. But here's what I learned. Truth operate. Listen to me. Don't miss this. Don't miss it. I understand the truth of the blood of Jesus Christ. I understand the truth of the name of Jesus Christ. I understand the truth of fasting and prayer. I understand the truth of giving and receiving, sowing seeds. I understand the truth of spiritual warfare. I understand the truth of forgiveness. I understand the truth of diligence. I understand the truth of honor. I understand the truth of servanthood. All these are truth. I understand the truth of the proclamation of the word, the confession of the word, praying the word. All these are truth. But truth itself will not automatically free you. You must know the truth to set you free. But allow me to say it. Not only you must know the truth, but you might know how to position the truth sequentially for it to have a great outcome. And I believe that's the biggest problem in the church. We know a lot of truth, but we don't know how to position them one after the other so that we can secure the outcome desired. We know a lot of stuff in the church. We know about finances. We know about the blood of Jesus. We know about the name of Jesus. We know about the authority. We know about the cross of Jesus. We know about relationship. We know about all the virtues. Holiness and consecration. And we know about how to believe for more. How to have great thing in our heart. We know all this stuff. But how do you position them sequentially so you can have a result? That's the problem in the church. So we apply those truths in a random way. Are you hearing me? We apply those truth in a random way. Just because I know, hey, in the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus. It has become like uh, the master key that opened the door for everything. You have to acquire understanding to know how to combine different truth so you can secure a desired outcome. That's why Jesus said, you know the truth. That prayer will give you answer. People say, yeah, it works. We pray for people and they get healed. They say, but this one is not getting healed. They say, there's another system. For the remedy for that man, him, it does not take only the system of prayer. It takes a combination of a system of prayer and the system of fasting together. Then that kind can be handled. You can use just prayer, hoping it is the master key for everything. Sometimes it has to be combined, maragaya, with fasting, or it has to be combined with just the word, or it has to be combined with an offering, or it has to be combined with something else. So knowing the truth is not enough. There is another dimension of understanding, or you need to put them in sequence. In a combination of different truths so that you can have a system built to operate to give you a result. Don't let this fly above your head. It's very important. Meaning that will save you time. Paul said, let redeem time. Let live our lives circumspectly so we can redeem time. The best way to redeem time is not to figure out 25 truths and having a thousand of truths at your disposal. No, it is to have understanding, to know how to sequentially put them together quickly so that you can have results. Yeah. 
Wisdom built the house. Proverbs 24, 23. Understanding establish it. You see that word establish? It means it's a pattern. Understanding gives you the system, the pattern. You know why pattern is very important? When you have a pattern, you live with predictability. My life becomes predictable because I have acquired a system and I've seen the result of the system. I don't need to go now pray for something else. I take the system and I can predict the results because that's what only this system can produce. Hallelujah, somebody. Hallelujah, somebody. Are you hearing me? Thank you, Lord Jesus. We need to sequentially arrange things, the truth that we acquire by wisdom to deliver corresponding results. That's the major challenge we face in the church. It's the random application of truth. We just throw it around. Oh, in the name of Jesus. We just throw wisdom. We throw truth around, hoping this one will work. Somebody say, let's raise the bar. Say it again, let's raise the bar. Say it again, let's raise the bar. Hallelujah. What is the proven combination to take this church to the next level? That's what she has. It's a combination of system. It's a pattern. It's a model. When it's acquired, the result is automatic. You, you don't need to go dig anymore. I hear me. A woman and a man procreate automatically. You, you don't need to turn around and try to, to speak in tongues. It just happened. If it does not procreate, it's because something has untraved against the system. The system is not wrong. Something has untraved against it. It's not, it's an automatic thing. Nobody wake up every morning and said, oh, how old, how, how tall my, my baby got now? You don't. You just see them growing every morning. It's a system. The system applies. That's why God said to Moses, build the tabernacle according to the system I showed you. Then you will have corresponding result when people come in my presence, they will be forgiven. If you didn't build it according to the system, there will be no forgiveness of sin in those days. Because one yota of not obeying the pattern will create something that will not give the corresponding results. Your body functions by system. You don't need to control your breathing, you breathe by yourself. In fact, when you try to think about you breathing, it messed up everything. True or not? Begin to think about you, I'm going to breathe now. You, you, you break the cycle because it's a system. Let the system work by itself. You just need to understand it and apply it. Thank you, Lord. You know why God gives system to man? So you will be able to sustain the capacity to reproduce according to given truth. The capacity to reproduce. I don't want you to be successful by accident. Or by mistake. What do you mean? I said it again. Don't stumble into blessing. That's what sometimes we preach. Don't stumble into being blessed and you don't know what the heck just happened and just get blessed. That blessing you will never be able to. <laughs> but when you acquire a system and you see the result is blessing, you can get blessed anytime you choose to want to be blessed. You don't need to wait anymore for somebody to bless you. You can just put the machine 
and then blessing, 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 blessing. You leave heaven alone. Because heaven has given you already the machine to procreate blessing. Are you hearing me? You don't need to pray to a baby. You don't need to act. And then baby come automatically. I know for some of you super spiritual, before you make love, you pray. By the time you're done, the guy feels like I'm not excited anymore. <laughs> Woo! Somebody shout, yeah! It's a system. It doesn't matter if you're holy or not holy, it works. No good mood, bad mood, it works. Outside or inside, it works. Anywhere you do it, it's going to work. With whoever you do, it's going to work. That's just the way it is. It's not based on holiness. It's not based on spirituality. It's not based on righteousness. It's system. All of you sitting here, you are the result of that machine. Talk to me. Were you created in vitro? You are the result of the machine, of the system, of the pattern of procreation that God put into Adam and Eve and then he went back and rest. It's now up to you. If you want to have 20 children, nobody will stop you. No angel will intervene. You want to have it, you will have it. It's a system. Don't stumble in success. Because it will be hard for you to maintain success. Because you don't know how you get there. <laughs> Am I speaking to somebody? You don't know how you get there. It will be hard for you to maintain it. And you will live in fear of your success. But when you know you have acquired understanding. Harabo sandaya bagaya. And walk it out. And walk it out. And you see the result. Ah! You can have that success any moment, any time. Because you didn't stumble into it by accident. You get into it intentionally. I said, let we rise up intentionally, not by accident. You will not know how to preserve it. When you don't know how you get it. Okay, let me... You know, <laughs> in the kingdom of God... I'm trying to filter what I'm going to say. I want you to capture what I'm going to say, but I'm going to filter to make it smooth for you so you can get it nicely and swallow it pretty good. Yeah, watch me. You don't succeed because you're lucky. Some of you sitting here, you're called to be a pastor of your own church. Did, I, did you hear me? And you have been sitting here and you're growing. You're growing in maturity. But I tell you, I'm church planter, so I'm speaking based on that. I won't talk business. I'm not into that. Watch me. You can sit here and spend 10 years and think that you have understood things. Because you've grown as an individual. But you haven't learned yet the system. You don't build a church like that because you're a good preacher. You don't build a church just because you pray. You don't build a church because you're spiritual. I tell you the truth, I'm speaking to you straight. And some of you are my sons and daughters like Pastor Kofi and some of you here who are called to plant churches. But I'm telling you the truth. You have to learn the system. You need to know the in and out. Standing on the platform is the easiest thing. What is the system? What is the pattern? What is the understanding I need to acquire that has nothing to do with my spirituality? All this work, the enemy of progress is assumption. Don't assume that you know what we need is correct, precise information. One day, a, ch a baby was eating her face like this. Like some of you and I, we grow up doing it. Huh? Even though you're 60, you still do something. 
And then the mom told the baby, son, don't, don't eat. Don't eat the, the nail. Don't eat the nail. Don't eat the nail. And the kid can't help himself. Then one day the mom said, if you eat, eat the nail, your belly is going to grow so big. If you eat this nail, your belly is going to grow so big because you eat and you swallow, it's going to make your belly big. Oh, no, mama, I don't want to have a big belly. You know? Okay, stop eating the nail. Walking in the bus with her mom and the, the kid saw a pregnant woman. <clears throat> and he said to him, I know what you did to have this belly. <laughs> Somebody said you need information, but you need the right information. It was not accurate. I know what you did. Nah, 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 nah. I know what you did to have this belly. This kid is crazy. No, it's because mama said you're going to eat your nails and then you're going to get pregnant. Church, put assumption aside. Don't think you know. If you want to learn, you have to unlearn. There was no amen here. Is somebody hearing me this morning? I'm speaking with the authority of God to save you time. Learn the system. The system is never exposed on the platform. When a man and a woman are having their system in place, it's in the secret place. You just see the result. Many of you sitting here, what you like about this church is what you see. What you want to improve about this church is what you see. But you don't know how it is manufactured. In the secret place. Magonda. You, you, you don't learn just by watching only. You have to go in the secret place to see the in and the out. So that you can acquire the system. And apply the system. And you shall expect corresponding results. The banking system, Pastor Jeff, she's a brilliant woman. She works in the banking system. Listen, there is nothing new under the earth. The same way you put your credit card in a TD machine or in the Royal Bank machine is the same way it operates. It doesn't matter if it is a, is a yellow or green. You, you withdraw, you withdraw it. The system, and the system is running the world. But the church is standing here not understanding that God, their God, is a God of system. Hallelujah. I don't want you to stumble into success. Galatians 2, 2 said, and I went up by revelation. I went up by understanding, not just by desire. Galatians 2, 2 it's not on my slide, but Galatians 2 to say, I went up by revelation, by understanding, not by desire. You can desire to build a business. You can desire to build a ministry. You can desire to do whatever you want. At the end of the day, it is your right to desire. But did you go up by revelation or you're going up by desire? You can go to T.D. Jake Church or Joel Osteen and criticize whatever you want. But at the end of the day, they have gone up by understanding. There is nothing new under the earth, under the sun. His systemic God is releasing pattern up to today as he did it to Moses. You got to capture it by understanding. I want to speak to you. Don't be in Hurry does not mean speed. It's like movement does not mean progress. You can be too ready in your head because your desires are guiding you, but you lack understanding of capturing a system. Your boss is not a boss by chance. Donald Trump's children are not the CEOs and president of the company that their father grew just because they are his children. 
it will not sustain it. They have to capture a system. Sonship is not enough. You must acquire understanding. I want to redeem time by understanding. Listen to me, ladies and gentlemen. I don't have time right now to spend 10 years of my time learning about the system of finances. I really don't. I'm 52 in a few days. And in 10 years, I'll be 62. I don't want to become a Mongol or a man who understands finances and produces it at 62. Is No, I don't want 10 years. 10 years in my time frame is too much. Okay. I don't have 10 years to go cool and sit in the classroom. That's what I'm trying to say. And learn about macroeconomy and microeconomy and finance and stock market. I don't have that luxury. But by understanding, I can connect with one who have spent 30 years in it. And all that I want is the formula. Give me the formula. Tell your neighbor, give me the formula. Give me the formula. Spare me of too much explanation. Give me the formula. Magongo, gongo, gongo. Give me the formula. I don't, I, I don't want to go sit down 10 years on the bench. But I can see one who sat on the bench for 30 years and have a in that area. I just sat down and said, I'm not just impressed about your achievement. How did you manage to come from behind and get today to be on the mountain? Give me light. Give me light. Give me light. Give me light, not explanation. Give me the formula. Give me the system. Teach me on the system and the pattern. You will save time. Go, go. Look at the world. Everything moved by system. The kingdom of God moved by system. God is a systemic God. Prayer moved by system. Can I prove it to you? Jesus Christ is sitting in heaven right now, isn't he? At where? At the right hand of the Father, isn't he? Can you be closer than being at the right hand of the Father? You can be closer than that. Huh? Is he praying? To who? He's just beside him. Can he not just talk to him? Why does he still do intercession? I pray for Joseph. Oh, I pray for Pastor JB. Oh, Father. Oh, protect his people. Just sitting by him because prayers are answered by system, not by proximity. So even if I'm underground, the system still work. In the desert, the system still work. In heaven, the system still work, somebody. I think I'll have to repreach it to you 20 times for you to get it inside you. I want to save you time. Even prayer work by system. You gotta capture the system. It will always work to deliver. Proverbs 18, 16. Okay, my time is up. Proverbs 18, 16. There's a system in place. I don't want to break it. <laughs> Proverbs 18, 16. But I ask for favor in Jesus' name. <laughs> Somebody say, Pastor, give apostle favor. <laughs> of a man. Open the way. I show him in the presence of king and princes. I will stop here and come back another time. There are skills or understanding God gives you that will make spiritual people follow you. There are skills and understanding God gives you that will make business people seek for you. There is skill and understanding God give you that multimedia gurus, marketing gurus will follow you and seek. 
There is gift and understanding God gave to you as a man that your tribe man will follow you. Sport people will follow you. Gift and understanding. Are you catching me? But I want in this year of expansion, we elevate our level of understanding, adding value to our life where all men will seek for us. Jesus, that was his testimony. Mark 137 says that. When they found him, they said to him, everyone is looking for you. Everyone is looking for you. In other words, Jesus Christ was a person with understanding in different arenas. All men are looking for you. Let that be your testimony in this year of expansion. That as you cultivate your gifts and you add understanding to your life, that all men will search for you because you have something to give. I hear me. The system of the kingdom operate on rewards. If you give a gift to a person because you have pity on him, catch me, it's called an offering to the poor. It's an arm giving. You catch me? That's a good thing. Whenever you have mercy and pity on somebody, bless them. But there's another level in the kingdom. It's a system where blessing is no longer because of mercy. It's become a reward because of what you added to the life of somebody. Think about it for a minute, please. Let it, let it settle in your heart. Stand up on your feet and let it settle in your heart. The kingdom of God operates on reward system. And I will go further to say it is a fraud to expect a reward when you have not contributed value. So we bless the poor by pity. It's an arm given. But we reward a man and a woman because of a system, because of the value they carry and the value they have imparted in your life. I have to say that my wife and I, we are so grateful for what you have been to us in giving to us and our family. I say thank you to the leadership of this house and to every man and woman who have contributed to finishing the basement for my son. It's a reward for me and my family. It's not charity. It's a reward. You have responded with gladness and joy because of contribution by the grace and God that we have made you and I and my family and everyone here partakers. You have drink from the wine that was given unto us. And you have swim in the rivers of wisdom and understanding that God graciously deposited upon our lives. And because you are grateful, because you love, because you honor, because you fear God, you have taken up the pace to bring us a great reward to us and our son. Forever grateful we shall be to you. For everyone who put one penny, everyone who give one dollar, everyone who give any contribution, I want to say thank you to our board. And I want to particularly say thank you to Pastor Joe and Pastor Twe, who have taken on this project. I don't know how many times I saw him in my house. I finally, I felt like he was sleeping there too. I want to say thank you. 
to you and the real team and to our board and to everybody. Please put your hand together for yourself. I appreciate. Thank you for such a great rewards and such. It gives us fuel to keep digging, keep growing, and to keep giving, and to keep acquiring understanding so we can run our lives and the families that God has entrusted to us in this church by the grace of understanding systems. That's why my wife is in meeting with you one by one. It's not an accident. It's a pattern. I entrusted her all the authority and invested in her all the authority as the senior pastor of this house. It was not a joke. It was real. It was godly. You hear me said, it take a new system to rise up to new places. The old system could only take you this far. If we want to get this far, we have to go by system, not by emotions. By system, not by emotion. Did you hear what I said? Yeah. I say by Not by? By what? Not by? If I want to build a square, I can give a triangle to Pastor Juleth. And give another triangle to Pastor J. And I can stand here and say, we're building a square. Pastor Julius can say, what do you mean a square? I have a triangle. Pastor Jimmy can say, I have a triangle. We are not achieving the triangle. But I know we are building a square. You have a square. It's a triangle. Even though it's not a square. You have another piece of the square. It's not a square. It's a triangle. But when I bring all the pieces together, of two triangles, it produces one square. Every one of you here have a piece of the pattern. But my wife knows what is being built. You will be called open to bring your peace. Because we will build and establish by understanding. Tonight, today, I want to pray for understanding for you. I do not want you to neglect the piece you hold in your hand. Some of you can have just a small piece like that. It doesn't seem like much. But every joint must supply. God has invested in you life so you can be a contributor. Not a passive assistant who just watch. There is an activation that God is bringing to his church. There is an activation God is bringing to each individual for you and your family and the dream that he has embedded in your spirit. But yet, it takes a system. I want as a we rise up to a level of understanding that will cancel competition. When you function by understanding, even in the business world, you are no competitor. Competitor. Impossible. Because understanding is not an elevator, it's a lifter. Understanding is a lifter, it's not a ladder. It lifts you up above. The upper hands. Because you know something other people do not know. It's called a system. I want to challenge you. Operate by the knowledge and understanding of systems. Nothing just happens by chance. Sometimes when I go to Africa, I see how we pray in Africa. And we claim wealth. In the name of Jesus, favor is upon you. Wealth is here. Wealth is not here until you understand the system that produces wealth. So we claim the wealth of, the, of Bill Gates. And Bill Gates is keeping, keeping being rich. And the, the claimers are keeping being frustrated. Thank you, Father. Lift up your hand now. Kalondo, pras e prale kost e frayande. Kayantel el prola hanti il frikustela. 
Vazon de blu il falangos. Fir al pian tork il al kita. Zebaki al fondi i gentos e falandia. Varandi il post. Oke anda ato sime andoke. Li kayoto opa. Vazeko mandel pon li antal kirandos ebea. Marit o li alfa i entolosi andeke. Wonga. Ba olondo. Ferend ilei alai indal sikian pol el franti atos. Meki arien tol virendo siki. Hola ma ilal ol ki ma atos i malain de rehetos. Gian troti an afu el frongea. Agirando mian tal faya. Ma ilo si be in del ki en basi. Vakelen orian ta mi kal ol fian de ki alas. Las ele ruse. Marende fil en fo. In this epoch, the van to la hati. Aya aya ma makalunde ze oloro il malando file alfian si antaka la car il frit osipin de farit. Tikil od nimari na ma ume ki am host e pelanda le carinos ilebe nebeguin e filanisti antokaya. Light of God shine. As your light come, glory must be manifested. Demonstration, proof. There is a model for that business you are cherishing and desiring. There is a model for the family type that you are desiring. There is a model to bring forth to fulfillment that dreams that you've been sharing for so many years. There is a system. There is a pattern to build that ministry that has been entrusted to you. Father, in the name of Jesus, let your light come. Let every obscurity be lifted up. Let your light shine in the spirit and in the mind of your people. Let conception begin to take place. Let system pattern begin to be revealed. Let the spirit of knowing be activated to begin to flush all the darkness. Let the light of God shine. Let wisdom, understanding Knowledge be imparted. Receive in your spirit that system. Receive in your spirit that system. Receive that model in the name of Jesus. Receive it. Let the old things go. Rise up on the mountain top by light, by understanding, by knowledge. There is a system to keep you up, to preserve what you have done. Father, tonight we refuse to stumble into being successful. We refuse to stumble into success. We will not be able to maintain it. But we ask you to give us the wisdom, the understanding. Reveal the pattern as you did to Moses. Activate the system that you build within us. We just don't know. We begin to understand. Let that be true for every man, every woman, every family. Let that be true in every sphere where you are standing. That you may command in that area. That you may be a voice in that sphere. That you will command in that area. In the name of Jesus. Somebody say amen. amen. Somebody shout amen. amen. Because God is a God of generation. He operates by system. Children don't have to reinvent. But they have the upper hand. I want today in our closing you take time and hug five people. And ask 